So the, the Port of Bristol um, actually predate the Metropolitan Police Service by about 26 years. So um, it goes back to the early 1800s in, in various guises. Um, and its uh, size of establishment has kind of uh, grown and contracted over time. And currently uh, there are 32 of us in the Port of Bristol Police, um, a mixture of both uh, warranted officers, of which there are 15, and then there are uh, 15 um, police support officers and two police staff. Um, and we're responsible for uh, policing um, in, it, in its truest sense within the port and a mile outside of the port. Uh, we have full policing powers and jurisdiction and then because we are um, within the Avon and Somerset uh, Home Office Force area we have with the blessing of Andy Marsh, my counterpart from Avon and Somerset, uh, we have got a, a memorandum of understanding that gives us uh, policing powers throughout uh, Avon and Somerset policing area as long as it's connected to port business and that's covered under the Maritime Act. Now, those that have been following this this um, policing friendship tour would would know that I'm normally walking. Yeah. Uh, and we're not walking at the moment. Um, and actually, I've got a hard hat on as well. Yes. Um, for uh, reasons of my own safety, I think. Uh, so, not far away. There's okay. The other side of the the um, uh, that's the Avon, I'm guessing. Uh, uh, no, that that is actually inside the. Uh, that's inside, inside the port. The port so area. that's so that's that's the berth, the quay side inside the port. Yep. Uh, the River Avon is the other side of these lock gates. Okay. And then uh, in the far distance is is, is is where the estuary goes in, and it's the other it's the other okay. other dock. So this is the, the water we see pretty much here is the port area, and yep. th there's a lock system just here with two um, uh, tugs, I'm guessing. Spitzer tugs. Um, sat there and um, in a, a three lock system. You were saying that the the, um, the, the rise and fall here is, is quite sizable. The yeah, Bristol the, Channel, it's, uh, it's, it's the highest uh, rise uh, and fall tidal range uh, within the world. So um, it, is, it is quite a depth. Um, and I would imagine it's, it's roughly, and don't quote me on this, about 20 metres. Well, we're going to have um, a, a bit of a drive round to two or three other places. Yep. Um, uh, but that's that set the scene in the Port of Bristol with the Chief Officer of the Port of Bristol Police, um, Jeff Foreman. So let's uh, head off to off another to the next place, venue. Off to the next venue. So, Jeff, change of uh, scenery here. Um, you mentioned, so we, we introdu introduced the uh, Port of Bristol um, and Port of Bristol Police. What sort of policing challenges do you get here in the Port of Bristol? Uh, well, for those who don't know Bristol, the, the Port of Bristol itself is uh, 2,600 acres approximately. Um, outside the port, the port company also own a number of industrial estates. Um, so there are all the usual challenges that you might expect from kind of policing a, a busy environment. Um, that's compounded with that we also have another taskmaster in, in, the, in the form of the Department for Transport. Um, and in order to operate as an international uh, commercial port, there are a number of uh, conditions that you must comply with from a, from a DFT, Department for Transport, perspective. As you can imagine, that's a very highly regulated, um, highly regulated uh, area of operation and we are regularly inspected and held to account in terms of how we deliver what the Department for Transport wishes to deliver and then how that then marries up dovetails with, with British Policing, uh, UK PLC. Um, and then on top of that, we are also, uh, I suppose, uh, the meters and greeters in the face of the Bristol Port Company. Uh, we are actually funded by the Bristol Port Company, so we're a non-home office force. Um, and with that brings its own challenges again um, in terms of uh, making sure that port business flows well, that customers to the port feel uh, welcome and value and that Bristol Port Company is an easy port to do business with. Of course sometimes there is a challenge in terms of some of the policing operations sometimes slow that uh, commercial operation down and necessarily slow but it brings about its own natural tension.